this is an electronically operated co compound microscope it has three parts one this is the zooming knob it can zoom up to five times and this is the adjusting stand for the microscope and this is the eyepiece you can also adjust the eye eyepiece so as to avoid the parallax error and if we connect this microscope to the projector many children can see at the same time what is what is a specimen I am Sagar of class 12. I stand here to prove the Newton's second law of motion. Well, you all know what is Newton's second law of motion. Rate of change of linear momentum is directly proportional to the ex applied external force in the direction of the force. So, you know the formula is P equals mv, where if greater the mass, greater will be the linear momentum, and greater will be the velocity, greater will be the linear momentum. So, so this experiment will help us to prove the Newton's second law. So, this is a simple experiment to prove Newton's second law. Here is a spring, so first we'll pull it back and hold it tightly here. Now we have two metallic balls. One is placed here and other on the end of the... So now when you release this, this will give us momentum to, uh, to the metallic ball and the metallic ball will fly off. So if you see that the ball moves with a greater velocity. So this proves the Newton's second law. I am Imran Muhammad of class 12th standing before you to explain you about the golden leaf electroscope. It is a device used to detect whether a body contains a charge or not. So I am going to show you. It has a metal, metal vertical metal rod above and down, uh, down it has a thin golden leaf. Now when, when, char when the body is rubbed and when it is touched on the metal knob, the charge gets passed and uh, it touches the golden leaf. And the degree of and it diverges. The degree of divergence indicates the amount of charge present in that body. The golden leaf has diverged a little since the body has little charge. I am Ram Ishwar of class 12A. This is a meter bridge. It is used to calculate the unknown resistance. In series connection, the unknown res uh, the resistance add up R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. In parallel connection, it adds up inversely. 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. This is the multimeter where the readings will be shown. I'm Rahul of class 12A. I'm going to explain about the voltmeter. The voltmeter shows the potential difference uh, this uh, this uh, source of power. So when we move this, uh, we'll the least count of the voltmeter is 0.25. So it implies that one uh, one division will be equal to 0.25 volts. And this can be uh, converted into ammeter also. It's all into one. I'm M. Sudarshan Srinivas of Class 12A. I'm standing before you to explain the properties of magnetism and interaction between poles using a demonstration. This is a bar magnet. The place where its white mark is the north pole and the other pole is south pole. This is a car to show mobility. So I place a bar magnet with the north pole facing. I bring the north pole towards the north pole. You can see that the car is moving away from the magnet. From this, we can conclude that like poles repel each other. And when I bring the other pole, south pole, towards it, it comes towards the magnet. And this shows that unlike poles attract each other. 